Hey everyone! Surviving means doing all the possible to stay alive to see another day. But how can we see another day if there is no such thing as day and night at all? That is why in this video I'll show you the day and night system I've made for my survival game. Additionally, I'll talk a little bit about the graphics in the game and some improvements for the focus system from my previous devlog. I will also discuss some future plans that I have for the game and finally announce my Discord server. So make sure to watch this video till the end. But before we start, pause the video and subscribe to my channel. It takes you a second to make my day. Good, now that we've taken care of that, we can continue with the video. I've actually thought of making the game using High Definition Render Pipeline, short HDRP. That would allow me to easily implement difficult systems like volumetric fog and light, virtual effects and complex shaders, but it came with a price to pay. In order for such a game to run smoothly, it would require a high-end PC, and an even better PC would be needed to make this game. I work from my Razer notebook and, despite the fact that it is very powerful, it was lagging when I was using HDRP. That's why I've made the decision to stick with the Universal Render Pipeline, short URP. The game might not be as pretty as it could be with HDRP, but at least almost everybody should be able to run it smoothly and, most importantly, I will be able to make this game. Once I've decided on the rendering pipeline, I started working on the weather system. Currently, this system is responsible for the day and night cycle only, but I plan on improving it. I'll add systems like rain, fog and maybe even snow with blizzard, but for now the system only controls the day and night cycle. It does so by changing the main lights color and direction, as well as changing the fog color and intensity. It also has a clock method which allows you to get the current time of the day in hours and minutes. Currently this system is not too complex, but as you might remember from my previous devlog, the main idea is to make all the systems reusable and easily implementable, such that I don't have to spend time on them in future. Basically I'm creating myself a library so I can reuse it when making the next project that will allow me to make the next game much bigger than this one. In theory at least. That's the case with this system as well. And now I can have a day and night cycle in any of my games in just few clicks. Also, based on your feedback I improved the focus system from the first devlog. Previously only the object you were looking at would get its curiosity value decreased, which didn't make any sense if there were few objects close to each other in front of the player. In real life if there are two items next to each other in front of you, even though you're looking at one of them, you still see the other one, right? And that's exactly what I did. Now, there is a radius, and if any object is inside this radius, it will get its curiosity value decreased, however not as fast as the item you're actually looking at. Ok, in my previous devlog I said that I was working on a Discord server and was looking for people with experience who would like to help me moderate it. I still need help with moderation, but the server is finally ready. On this server we'll be able to communicate with each other, participate in events, joke and post memes, play with friends and make new friends, as well as many many other activities. I will also post sneak peeks and source code for some of my projects there. You can find the link to the Discord server in the description underneath this video and in the comments down below. That is all for this video, but before you go, I would like to wish you all a happy happy new year. Let's hope that 2021 will be the opposite of 2020, because I doubt that the world will be able to survive one more year similar to 2020. I wish you tons of health, wealth and most importantly happiness in the upcoming year. Happy new year penguins.